Hello YouTube Geeks, this is Justin, and welcome to um, this Oracle Database tutorial on YouTube. Um, this tutorial details how to mirror, or in Oracle terms, we call it multiplex, which basically means, which means mirror, um, your control file. Now, a control file is, um, every Oracle database has a control file, and a control file is a relatively small file but it is very very imperative to the Oracle database environment. The Oracle control file holds information about the Oracle database. Um, some of the information it holds is the name of the database itself and the name and the location of the data files of your database, your sysox, your system and other data files you may have in your database. So it's very imperative that we back up the control file now, is it possible that if you lose all your control files to still um, start up a database and use it? Yeah, but it's very difficult, okay? But, but possible. So, that being the case, uh, let's go ahead and um, mirror our control files or multiplex. So, let's go to where our Oracle database files are, or uh, where uh, our fi all of our files are kept that collectively make up our Oracle database. And, um, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> and they're kept in C colon slash database slash or data slash finance. If we do a directory list, then we will see all the files which make up our Oracle database. And there we have a control file, control01.ctl. Now, we only have one control file, which means that if we were to delete this file, we'd be in big trouble. We wouldn't be able to run our Oracle database. So, what we need to do first is, let's go ahead and log into our database. And of course, we set our, or our environment variable, Oracle underscore SID, to the name of our database, finance. And, uh, and we log in with SQL plus, with slash sysdba authority. Okay, um, once we're in, we do a select name from v$ database, and it will return the name, the name of our database, finance. Now, it got this value from the control file. The v$ sign um, views, which we, we call them views in Oracle, v-i-e-w-s, um, is a, is a, um, a v$ sign means that this is a dynamic performance view, okay? which means that it changes, most of these change every time you restart your Oracle database instance with a shutdown and start it back up with a startup command. Okay. Um, uh, these are typically, um, typically the database uses information in the system, in the data dictionary, which is kept in the system data file and in a control file to populate these views. So select name from v$ sign database shows that we're connected to the file, confirms that we're connected to the finance database. Now, let's take a look at our control files. Dollar sign control file. There it is. Here's our here's, so or the Oracle data dictionary knows about our control file. So C colon slash database slash or data slash finance slash control zero one CTL. So we only have one control file, which means if we were to lose this control file, we would lose our database. So that the so what we need to do is we need to multiplex our control file. To do so, the first thing we need to do is we need to quiesce our control file. And a quiesce means is we need to make it silent. So we need um, where there are no updates going on. The control file is a very busy file in an Oracle database environment. The Oracle database engine is always updating it. So to, to quiesce it, we shut down our Oracle database. And we do that with a shutdown command. And this will uh, close, dismount, and shut down our Oracle database instance. Okay, now that our database is shut down, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this control file three times. Copy with the, with the OS command control. I mean copy. So copy control 01 ctl to control 02 ctl by the way that's a typical oracle naming convention okay you may even want to put the name of the instance finance in it if you want 
copy control 02 CTL to control 03 CTL. Now we see we have three control files control 01, 02, and 03. Now, we have just because we have three control files, it doesn't mean that Oracle knows about them. Let me show you what I mean. If I were to log in SQL Plus, again, connect into our finance database, and I was to restart the Oracle database, just like so, which starts our instance, mounts our database, and opens it. And I were to issue that select statement again, select name from the dollar sign control file. Ah, we will see that we only have, that it still only knows about the one control file. Because even though we made a copy of it three times, okay, Oracle still only knows about the, the, the Oracle Data Dictionary only the, that holds the metadata about the database only knows about that one control file. So we need to make Oracle aware that there are two other control files now. So we shut down again, our database again, and I was just proving a point there. So we'll have to copy the control files again to make sure we have the most updated um, control files. So copy control 01 CTL to control 02 CTL and yes we want to overwrite and copy control 02 CTL to control 03 CTL and again you could copy control 01 to 3 if you wanted to that would work too so here we go we silent we quiesced our our control files by shutting down the database and now we have three control files that are identical okay see the sizes they're all identical all nine meg each so to make the database aware of these additional control files we need to update our initialization file. Now we're going to get some parameters in our initialization file. So that is in Oracle and our Oracle home. Oracle app product 1110 db1 database. There it is. init finance.ora. So we fire up our DOS um, edit program. And if you remember, here's our control files parameter. Alright, so what do we do when we want multiple control files? Well, we have to specify we have to specify the additional control files that we want Oracle to know about. And what we want to do here is we want to change this to be parentheses and we do double quote and we do double quote again at the end. But then we come to our next line here. And we t and we tell it about our next control file, which is in the same directory. If you remember, here two CTL, comma, and our third control file, here are three CTL. So we're saying control files equals Parentheses because we are uh, because we're doing multiple lines here. C colon slash database or data finance control zero one that CTL double quote comma next one double quote then the control zero two CTL double quote comma the next one double quote and control zero three CTL double quote parentheses and of course we save we exit and we display the the contents of our file, everything looks good. So now, go back to our database reside. Now when we restart our Oracle database instance, it will read the P file, the parameter file, and it will now know about the other two control files, two and three. Now obviously in a real production environment, Okay, we would not have the control files on the same disk of your primary computer system, let alone the same directory like we have here. Okay, they'd be on every control file would be on a different disk for redundancy purposes, okay, and for high availability reasons. But 
but just in this uh, tutorial, this is fine. It just proves the point. So we open our database. Now, select name from V$ dollar sign control file. Bam. Now Oracle knows about all the data dictionary now knows about all three control files. Okay? Because we put it in our parameter file. Okay. So now what happens when you lose a control file? Alright. Well, let's put this to the test. Type in shutdown, let's shut down our instance. Now Remember, um, if you remember from past tutorials, I explained how Oracle uh, Windows, which is the system our finance database runs on, um, has an internal mechanism for locking files which are in use. So that being the case, we really can't delete a control file while the instance is up. But if you're on a Unix system or a Linux system which doesn't have an internal mechanism for this, and it lets you delete files that are in use on the system, okay, the, um, the instance, if the instance were to were to lose a control file while it's up and running the instance would crash at some point after that not very long after that at some depending on how busy the database is but as soon as the oracle goes to update that control file which it con which it does all the time inevitably it, it the instance will crash itself so we shut down the instance here and we're going to delete just one control file uh let's delete 03 so now we only have two control files one and two but the parameter file is going to tell oracle expect 3 but Oracle is only going to see two when it comes when it start when it attempts to start up. So here we go. Oracle must be able to start up all three. Must be must have all three control files. So we so we type in startup, and we're going to get an error. There it is. Error in identifying control file. Check alert log for more info. So let's do that. C colon Oracle app. Diag. Uh, this is your uh, alert log we're going to look at. Finance, finance, trace, and we're going to go edit. Uh, we're going to go type actually. In it, I'm sorry, alert finance log. And here, all major events are, are, that happen in the database are logged in this file. And look, here, here's the error that we got. Cannot open a specified file. Control number three. So that SQL plus error just said cannot identify control file. The alert log will take it a step further and tell you that we cannot, it cannot um, find what control file it can't find. So to correct the issue, what we're going, all you have to do is, well, first we'll shut down our instance. To correct the issue. All we do is copy a surviving control file. To the to um, and create the missing control file from the surviving control file, which we do by copying control zero one, which is a surviving control file. We could have used two; it doesn't matter, and use that to recreate con the missing control file. In this case, control zero three. Log in again. Type in startup, and now our database will start up successfully because all three control files are on disk. Once again. Okay, so a lot of people um, ask, I get this question a lot, well, that doesn't make any sense, if one control file goes away, your Oracle database should remain up and running, isn't that the point of control files? No, the control file, is, the control file multiplexing function is not really about, it, it doesn't really have to do with high availability, it has to do with redundancy, with backups, okay, it's just a way that if something were to happen to one control file, you can copy a surviving one back and and get the database back up quickly. So if you have one, if if you have a control file that fails or the disk that it's on fails, all you, you can get the database back up relatively quickly. So select name from V dollar sign control files. There's all three, and we use our wildcard dir, and we see that there there's all three of them. Now note in Oracle you can only have eight copies of a control file, including the original one. So you can only have seven additional copies, eight total. If you if you if you have nine or more, Oracle will will throw an error. So you only have eight copies, but three is what most shops do. Okay, that's how you mirror a control file. I hope you learned something.